Hi guys, this is Double Take Debate. Today we're going to be running down some NBA fantasy prospects with the season and tip off just around the corner. It seems now is the appropriate time to look at some sleeper picks for those of you drafting in deep leagues and looking at those role players that really win you the trophy. So well and good having first and second pick and getting Durant and LeBron, but if you don't have surrounding good role players, you're toast for the season. So here's five sleeper picks at the point guard position to look out for. My first being a rookie, Damian Lillard. This guy is going to be handed the keys from the get-go in a Portland system that's going to be changing. It's obviously going to evolve around LaMarcus Aldridge, but beyond him, it's a fight for second scorer spot and playmaker and ball distributor. I mean, they've got Batum, they've got Wesley Matthews, but I think Lillard's going to have the ball in his hands a lot. He done really well in Summer League. Obviously, you can't look into that too much, but he looks like he could be a really, really good rookie. A lot of people are keeping their eyes on this kid. Portland look like they've gotten something with the sixth pick in this draft. I'm not going to say he's going to be as good as Kyrie Irving because to me Kyrie Irving is the best young point guard right now. Um, but he will be good. He probably will be in the running for the rookie of the year. Whether or not he wins it will depend on Portland's team success. But I really like this kid. I think there's a lot of potential there. The next being Nate Robinson. He's at Chicago now. A lot of people don't realize this. With Derrick Rose down and Kirk Heinrich as their starting point guard, this is a team famed to lack scoring. Nate Robinson can fill it up in bunches. We know this. He can also pass if need be. And he's he's not a great defender, but he does get after it. In Thibodeau's system, I expect to see him get some time and get some minutes. If his attitude and his head is screwed on properly, he can be an effective player. We saw him in Boston in brief stints. He was really good. Instance, he was really good. I expect a lot from Nate Robinson for the Chicago Bulls while Derek Rose is down. So that's another guy to look out for. He hasn't been drafted by many people at all. So those of you in deeper leagues, keep an eye out for him. Another one is Jeff Teague. Now, Atlanta, with Joe Johnson gone, he's the starting point guard. He's part of a dynamic backcourt with Lou Williams. They've also got Anthony Murray and some other young backcourt stars there. But I really, really like... Uh, Jeff Teague's potential. He can shoot, pass, and distribute. He's a bit hes a bit on the tweener side. He's not the biggest guy, but he's got Al Horford still to go off to. Josh Smith, he'll be taking a responsibility of all the Joe Johnson shots that won't be taken by Joe Johnson anymore. And he's got shooters to pass to. I like the potential of this kid a lot. Another one being Carl Lowry. People forget, before this guy went down last year, he was a top 15, top 20 pick in most leagues, depending on format. But he was right up there in the top on Yahoo Fantasy, for instance, he averaged close to 34 points a game. The only reason he didn't finish in the top of the rankings is because he got injured. And this isn't an injury-prone guy. He goes after it hard. He's tested. He's physically capable of going out and playing through pain. He's done it before. And in Toronto, he's going to be given the keys to that offense. Jose Calderon will be his backup. I expect them to play simultaneously at points. I'm not sure how that will work out, but I do expect it. Toronto are trying some things down there. But I really like Cal Lowry. Again, having a great preseason for them. Getting used to his teammates. He's got some good people to pass off to now. Well, people that can score. Banyani can score. DeRozan can score. They've even got Valachunas on the centre spot. I expect quite a lot from the Raptors team. Not to make serious noise, but to make some progress. And I think Lowry will be a key reason for this. I expect him to return to top 25 producers in all of fantasy. But he's getting drafted just before the 100 mark in some leagues. So keep your eye out for Lowry. He's going in the later rounds. He's someone that I'd really, really keep my eye on. And last but not least, Jameer Nelson. He is now in a magic team that is devoid of any leaders. When him and Howard were together, he was co-captain. He is now the captain. He's going to be the old veterans like Turkaloo, like Glenn Davis, but also some youngsters coming in. And there will be a lot placed on Jameer Nelson's shoulders. I expect him to have a great year. Uh, you know, get back not to his career form in 09 when they got to the finals, but I expect him to be here in at least a three, maybe two a game in that magic, you know, that three happy system. Whether that will work without Howard anymore, we're not so sure. But I do expect him to have a really good year. He's getting drafted lowly again. Some guys are even passing over him in their drafts. I expect Jimmy and Nelson to have a really good year. There's five sleeper picks for you. By sleeper, I mean outside the top 30, top 40, you know, the obvious big name guys. We'd love to hear some feedback from you. Any point guards you may or may not have missed. But NBA fantasy is around the corner, guys. Enjoy it. This is Double Take Debate. Stay tuned. We'll have a video a day now for each position in the NBA. Enjoy the rest of it.